Okay, Willie, here's how you can emphasize that crosshair to visualize depth of field a little bit uh, better than the default shows you. So I'm going to go and let's say this is my framing here and I'm going to go and make myself a camera. First of all, new camera, copy the active viewport here. And then with the camera selected, I'll go and look at it from kind of from the from the top here so I can see this is the camera. This is the subject I want to frame up. And then with the camera selected on the parameters tab, I head over to camera. And then here I'm going to go and first of all, I'm going to switch depth of field on. And when I do that, then we see these two new lines appear here. And I'm kind of lucky in that this white plane in the middle, that is where the depth of field is supposed to be already. But imagine, you know, it's it was somewhere else. Let me just go and move the, the camera slightly over here. So there's this tiny little green red crosshair in the very middle here. And that's really the center point of the depth of field this here. And it would be so much easier if that would be a little larger for us to see it a bit better because we can just about make it out when we zoom in. But when we're not, then we're basically like like here, then it's really difficult forward slash impossible to see. So there's a way to emphasize this and just make it bigger so that we can see that in white shots. And here's how we do that. So with the camera selected, there is the display menu here. If you open that up, then you'll find the camera view menu. Is that in here? No, it's not in the camera view. It's in the display. Sorry about that. And I think it's the focal point scale. That is the thing that makes this a bit larger. So if I go and crank that up, you can just about see just about just about that it gets bigger. So the default is 100% and 200 is the most we can jack it up to. But if you go to the parameter settings here, then you can go and either remove the limits or set yourself a new one, like say 2000. And then you can make it even bigger. And now we can really see that. And that's just much nicer to have a look here. And then to emphasize that even more, there's this parameter here, which is the sight line opacity. And that is essentially how dimmed out that is. So the default is 30%. But if you go and crank that up, then it becomes even more visible in your viewport. So yeah, those are the two things that I wish they would just be a little bit more emphasized when we do work with depth of field. I mean, you could even go ahead and imagine like as a, you know, as a program, I'm thinking it would be nice to have a focal plane there. I think uh, Unreal Engine actually draws a plane at that point. And that's really nice if we were to then look at it from the side. If you then go back to your camera and then play with the focal distance, it's just much, much easier to know where exactly that line is. Like, especially now when the camera isn't pointing directly at her face, I'd have a hard time seeing when are the eyes in focus. That's the thing I want to do. And if I do it this way with a large line, that's just so much more helpful. This is a great tip by Cake One, by the way. She told us that in a webinar once we had. So thank you so much, Cake, for suggesting that.